Hi everyone, my name is Thomas, and in this video we're going to take a look at CMAX, an exciting nootropic with a plethora of brain-boosting benefits. I'm also going to review my perspective on CMAX after taking it for two weeks. Now, you may remember me from a previous video I did with the Cosmic Nootropic team detailing the proper administration of injectable cerebrolysin and cortexin. To give a bit of a backstory, I'm a practicing primary care paramedic from Canada with an interest in brain health and biohacking. Coming from a fast-paced and high-stakes field, it's imperative to perform at the highest level possible. To aid in this endeavor, I've used various nootropics and basic lifestyle modifications, such as sleep optimization, balanced diet, and constant exercise to achieve the best cognitive outcome. Now, while the basics I mentioned are incredibly important and they're the building blocks of brain health, there are certain nootropics you can take which will bring you a step further. I feel that CMAX has a host of benefits, not just in the world of performance, but also in day-to-day -day life. Before we get too far into things, I just want to take a minute to talk about the packaging and how CMAX is actually administered. We can see on the box that the concentration of the active ingredient in solution is 0.1%. Taking a look inside the box, you'll find a bottle of CMAX dissolved in 3 mils of water and a dropper. CMAX is administered as nasal drops, which allows the active ingredient to absorb through the mucous membranes of the nasal cavity. A portion of the CMAX will enter the blood, while another portion will actually enter directly into the brain via the olfactory nerves, allowing it to bypass the blood-brain barrier. This allows CMAX to begin exerting its effects in about 2 to 10 minutes, while maintaining an active half-life in the brain for 20 to 24 hours. To take it, you simply draw up some of the liquid into the dropper and dispense one to three drops directly into either nostril. The dosing regimen I used during my two week course was two to three drops three times daily, spaced evenly throughout the day. You might wonder why CMAX isn't taken as a pill, and the reason is CMAX is a peptide, meaning it's a compound composed of multiple amino acids linked in a chain. Many peptides, including CMAX, are fragile and tend to break down when in contact with stomach contents, leading to poor absorption. Personally, I feel that nasal drops are a more convenient way to take it compared to a pill. Now let's dive a bit deeper into what CMAX is. The first key component to understanding CMAX is understanding a hormone called adrenal corticotropic hormone, or ACTH. This is a hormone released by the pituitary gland located at the base of the brain. It's released in response to perceived stress, and it's one of the first precursors in a cascade of chemical reactions that prepare the body to address said stressor. When ACTH is released, it enters the bloodstream, eventually making its way to the adrenal glands which sit atop the kidneys. The adrenal glands will secrete cortisol, the body's primary stress hormone. Now, cortisol has a very wide range of effects in all aspects of the body, but put simply, cortisol prepares your body to fight an immediate threat at the cost of long-term health. Cortisol will temporarily boost heart function, immune function, metabolic function, and cognition, but if left chronically elevated, cortisol will eventually break the body down. So it's not a hormone that should be tampered with. Now, ACTH doesn't only increase cortisol, it also acts directly on the brain. Melanocortin receptors are found throughout the body and the brain, and they're influenced directly by ACTH. When activated in the brain, these receptors lead to an increase in something called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF. This is what we're after. BDNF is responsible for the survival, growth, and differentiation of nerve cells or neurons. In general, BDNF will make neurons more resilient to stressors and allow groups of neurons to make better connections amongst each other. Neurons will strengthen useful connections while also breaking down faulty connections, which is known as neuroplasticity. These interactions will also happen at a faster rate with higher levels of BDNF. In practice, a person with high levels of BDNF in the brain will see improvements in learning, memory, cognition, and mood. If a person were to supplement with ACTH, they would experience an increase in the desirable BDNF, but they would also experience the side effect of an undesirable increase in cortisol levels. Now let's explore my experience running a two-week course of CMAX. To reiterate, I use two to three drops three times daily for two weeks, which is on the higher end of dosing, but it still falls within the recommended one three mil bottle per three to 10 days, as listed on the Cosmic Nootropic website. And the typical treatment course ranges from three to 14 days. The effects people can get from CMAX include an increase of attention and memory during repetitive and monotonous tasks, improvement of the adaptive capacity of the human body in extreme conditions, relief of cognitive impairments caused by cerebrovascular disorders, treatment of traumatic brain injuries, recovery from neurosurgery, reduction in ADHD symptoms, and a reduction in anxiety. I was excited to give CMAX a try as I have ADHD and I've tended to steer away from using harsh stimulants typically prescribed by doctors. The reason I avoid things like Adderall or Ritalin is because these drugs often lead to dependency and can have negative cardiovascular side effects. Some people find success using prescription stimulants, but I haven't. Now, ADHD can present with a vast array of symptoms, but what I tend to struggle with at baseline are things such as planning for the future, staying on task, and a general constant need for excitement. 
I also occasionally struggle with random, seemingly unprovoked bouts of brain fog, ranging from minutes to sometimes full days. The hope for this experience was a reduction in all the aforementioned symptoms. Starting off on day one, I didn't notice much of a difference in terms of the way I felt in general. I was expecting perhaps a perceptible boost in dopamine or an increase in stimulation, but no. Days two to three, I gradually started to feel sort of a low grade and constant brain fog. This made work slightly more difficult as I, I felt slowed down slightly and out of phase when communicating with coworkers. It seemed to take a little bit more mental effort to type out a report or engage in conversation. My decision-making abilities were unaffected, however. Although this was a slight hindrance, I feel like I could still make it through my day with just a little bit of extra effort. On the nights surrounding days two and three, I was able to sleep between seven to eight hours, which is my normal but I found that my body needed a bit more sleep in order to feel fully rested. What's interesting is that all of these effects closely resemble anecdotal experiences some people have when starting a course of cerebral lysin or cortexin. These two drugs are similar to CMAX in that they increase the levels of neuroplasticity in the brain through growth factors. It's thought that drugs that dramatically increase neuroplasticity can also transiently cause brain fog as part of sort of the initial phase of treatment. But again, this is merely an anecdote. Days four to six, the brain fog subsided and I began to notice a more stable mood. Interactions that would normally irritate me no longer did to the same degree and I felt as though I had thicker skin and a general sense of focused calm with internal well-being. And this ultimately led to an increase in confidence. Day seven is when I first noticed the most salient change. My brain somehow felt younger. I remember as a kid laying in bed and witnessing my brain run wild, vividly imagining exciting adventures and endless thought tangents. It was almost unbearable at the time, but entertaining as hell. Slowly, as we age, the brain becomes more rigid and for myself, less creative. I was shocked to experience the same mental adventures of my childhood when I was laying in bed on day seven. On the 10th days, when all the effects I garnered reached a peak effect, my mood remained regulated and I wasn't experiencing any brain fog at any time. My reflexes and hand-eye coordination improved as well. I noticed myself catching falling objects easier, reaching almost autonomously. To give a better example of this effect, I, I previously couldn't play foosball very well at all. One friend in particular far exceeded my skill level and would always beat me head to head. As the positive effects of CMAX increased, so did my skill and engagement in the game. I found myself able to play closer to his level, and I even beat him once, something I've never done before. I felt an increase in learning ability manifested in practice with guitar. Not only did I gain a deeper interest in the process of learning the new material, I also had an easier time playing with precision and speed. I felt as though the process of learning was no longer energy intensive and tedious, and learning became more fun. Speaking became easier too. I noticed myself on multiple occasions using a larger vocabulary and a faster tempo. Most avenues of conversation became more interesting to me and I felt better equipped to formulate a decent response. Lastly, I experienced a, a synergistic effect with caffeine. Prior to using CMAX, I would have mixed results with caffeine. Sometimes it would stimulate me, other times it would only make me anxious and lethargic. When I drank coffee in concert with CMAX, I experienced mostly positives, mainly wakefulness, elevated mood, and unaffected sleep. Some users of CMAX report that it pairs well with nootropics that work on dopamine, causing a further increase in dopamine, and I find that to be true for myself. Days 10 to 14, I continued to see subtle increases in mental health and cognitive performance. At no point did I feel any sudden change following dosage. Instead, it was a slow and steady improvement in my overall brain health. And at the end of the two weeks, I felt rejuvenated and more like myself. Although it didn't cure my ADHD, once the peptide reached peak effect, I had a remarkable reduction in brain fog, less need for external excitement, and I was better able to stay on task. This video is being filmed three days after the end of the experiment, and I'm still feeling 80% of the benefits. So I can't say exactly how long it'll take to revert back to baseline, uh, but knowing this peptide is used to treat brain conditions such as stroke, I think it's likely that I'll retain most of the benefits long term. Thanks a lot for joining me on the CMAX Deep Dive. I hope you learned something new, and I strongly believe that CMAX has the potential to help a lot of people reach a higher level of performance in mental health. If you want to learn more about CMAX, I encourage you to visit cosmicneutropic.com, where you can find links to various information resources and scientific studies. Till next time.